Fantasy Philosophers is brought to you by Fantasy-Info.com. Malcolm Floyd is fully expected to be a starter on the San Diego Chargers this season, but we definitely need to see him have an uptick in his overall production. He is a guy who can make some plays down the field, but if I'm not mistaken, he only had one or two touchdowns for the year after he took over for Chris Chambers. That's just not going to get it done, especially with Phillip Rivers there. I would have to believe, especially this offseason, if Vincent Jackson, who's entrenched in a major holdout, may even be suspended early in the season from some, I believe, some substance things he took if I'm not mistaken so with Floyd he should get some more opportunities especially in reps he's gonna have to work on his route running he's just a very sub average player in that regard he does have talent he's a very nice tall lengthy receiver so again you would think for his size he's a guy that projects out to get more opportunities when the team gets on the inside the goal line obviously they have Antonio Gates there Vincent Jackson, and they also used to have LaDainian Tomlinson. So those guys are going to get more priorities, and I think that that's where a guy like Floyd has really seen his numbers drop down in that regard. If Jackson is suspended for a time, then Floyd could make for a guy who's a – in, a, in the right matchup, if they're in a situation early in the season where they have to throw, it projects to be a game where they're going to throw it out back and forth, he might be a guy you take a shot on if a guy you had is nicked up or whatnot, or maybe you even had Vincent Jackson, and he's just not on the team, so you roll the dice with Malcolm Floyd. So in that sense, he could be worth taking a shot on at the very end of your draft to hold on to your team. But for now, again, we need to see him have more production. I would like to hear in August that he's taking good strides. Maybe uh, Phillip Rivers and North Turner kind of come out in the public and say, hey, we give Malcolm a lot of credit for all the offseason work that he's done this year. He's really grown and matured in, in these different various areas. That's what I would really like to see from him before I would suggest he might be even worth a late round flair. For more fantasy football information, go to fantasy-info.com and sign up for our free e-newsletter. Good luck in your 2010 fantasy football league. As an added bonus, the Fantasy Info guys will include their five secret tips for success and in-